Prophet, everybody, Serena Salas Matanani. We have a developing story out sure. of so um, it is Christmas Eve, and it's a story actually you probably wouldn't believe because last night in Marito, they took so much time and effort to uh, light up the Santa Maria and uh, Camelin statue, um, which all of us know is uh, our patron saint. And by daylight, uh, it had been vandalized. And so we're bringing in the Maritzo mayor, Ernest Chargoloff, uh, to talk about uh, what happened and, and, and what he knows. Mayor, are you there? Yes, good morning, Sabrina. Good morning, Jason. Off day, Mayor. Um, if you could tell us, I know you guys hard. I was talking to one of your staff members and, you know, she was pretty upset. And, you know, we've got already a lot of comments uh, from people just irate about uh, what happened to the Santa Maria and Kamlin statue. Yes, you know, Sabrina, the person or persons responsible for that, and not only being uh, sacrilegious to our faith and our religion, but, you know, you desecrate uh, the statue of our, our saint. And this is not just Malaysia, but the entire island as well. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, whoever did it, I don't, uh, of all the places that he could have hung the chains on, they chose to to put the chain on the rest of Santa Maria Kamala. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, in the evening, uh, my guys and I, you know, my staff, volunteers, family, and MPC, we try to put together a, a nice display of the park because it, it represents a sacred place, a holistic place. And for the individual to come here and put a chain, I don't know what kind of message he's trying to you know, uh, convey. But I believe that that is uh, maybe in a criminal mischief, it didn't do that much damage. But sacrilegiously, he, he provided the sacrilege being uh, uh, disrespectful to our faith and our religion. You know, I, I, I don't understand. Uh, well, I try to leave the place open so people can access as long as they don't, you know, do anything to, to disturb the, the hard work that my staff and I, the volunteers and the MPC put together. Uh, I'm okay with them visiting the place, but for them to do something that would desecrate what the statue stands for, Religiously, you know, I don't mm -hmm. understand the person's intent and his motives, mm -hmm. but I, you know, I, I I'm, I'm at a loss of for words, you know, and it's just very disrespectful. And mm -hmm. I don't know the person or persons are proud of themselves, mm -hmm. but it's something that you shouldn't even be proud of. You should be ashamed of you know, instead of being proud. And mm -hmm. I hope that that person is listening. Because I'm about to go and buy some uh, surveillance camera and put it here. But when I catch them, they will pay the price of, of any desecration and uh, whatever mischievous deeds they plan to put into this park. We put in too much work with my staff, the volunteers, for people that don't have any concern, uh, at least being in the Christmas spirit. Do not spoil the Christmas spirit for others. Mm -hmm. But I, you know, like I said, I'm at, I'm at a loss of words for what was done. And I think a and lot I of people. To, uh, and I appeal to those responsible, or it could be one person, it could be two. But I appeal to these people, please, you know, uh, Christmas was not canceled. Do not spoil the Christmas for everybody else, you know. Uh, a lot of people there are at a lot of We put in so much effort to surround Santa Maria with very nice decorations and uh, enhance the park. This is the first time that we've done it to this degree and to this extent. And mm -hmm. then for an individual to come and desecrate and put something that's out of place, instead of enhan enhancing the place, they chose to desecrate Santa Maria herself. You know, and, and like I said, they, instead of being proud of themselves, they should be ashamed of themselves. I don't want to reach out too drastically because they might come back, but I'm going to put cameras on, okay? Yeah. I'm going to go and find me a camera just temporarily to put here until this season is over. It's mm -hmm. uh, unnecessary, but to those responsible, you will get caught one day. And I believe that when you get caught in my billets, I will be involved in the forefront 
to ask that they give you the maximum, that that person is giving the maximum penalties and fines allowable by law. And I will be there. I will be there to ask the judge to impose everything. Throw even the kitchen sink, the bathtub and everything at the person. You know, it's, it's very disheartening. Right. Can you take us to uh, this morning when you, uh, I guess you got the phone call uh, about uh, the statue being vandalized? Who called you? What time was it? Yeah, it was, um, it was my staff. They came down and, uh, you know, they called me at home. That they, I said, take the chain off. I mean, you know, the chain that they don't have any smooth surfaces to, to get fingerprinted. But I know that whomever did that, you know, if he has a record that the fingerprint that would be, can be drawn from it, it will be an instant match because they, they've already got a record. They've already been fingerprinted. But the chain, you know, it, it, it doesn't hold good evidence because of the, you know, of the way it's structured. But that's why I'm appealing to these guys, knock it off before you get caught. Because when you do get caught, I will be in the forefront to push the maximum penalties and fines allowable by law. And I will ask the judge to impose those fines and penalties. I don't care who they are, Sabrina. Do not spoil the spirit, okay? We are already in a COVID-19. People are, are, are distraught because we cannot enjoy ourselves. And then people are gonna come and, and, and the times of enjoyment that we do find to enjoy ourselves is being uh, uh, disturbed by some person or persons who have no concern for the spirit of Christmas. And more importantly, what the statue represents religiously. You know, I, I appeal to these guys, knock it off. Because if what I do catch you, believe me. What time this morning? Yes, we were, I was having breakfast. My staff came down here to shut off the light and, and do more, uh, put some. My target uh, uh, for everything to complete is tonight, Christmas Eve. And uh, when my staff came down this morning, they, they found the chain and they, they called me up. I said, take the chain off, uh, you know. That, that really is very disturbing. It is not representative of, of, of the spirit. Rather, I don't know, like I said, I don't know what the individual's intentions and motives are to whatever message they want to convey. But it totally goes against the season. And, you know, it's, it's very disheartening that a person should do that during the Christmas and more importantly, to our saint that represents our, our, our religious faith, you know? Do you think, Mayor, it may be somebody in the Village of Maritza or that, you know? You know, you know yeah. Sabrina, it, it, it's more simple to be blaming people that are innocent than, mm -hmm. uh, than for you to, to cast. You can have all the suspicions you, uh, suspicion you, you want. Mm -hmm. But to try to pinpoint an individual without having proof and evidence that he or she did it is more simple and more wrong than the person who did it himself. Okay? Oh, and, yeah, I'm uh, not it's anybody from Marie, so I'm just asking. Yes, yes, but I, I, I believe that uh, whoever they are and wherever they're from, they should they should heat the, the, the season, you know? And then, like I said, do not spoil the Christmas. I mean, we're here to promote Christmas. We're already in a COVID-19. People are, are disappointed that we cannot live our, our normal lives. And then you come here and you do something abnormal and, and you know, very sacrilegious and uh, desecrating. And I appeal to these guys to please, you know, be, be mindful of the spirit of Christmas. And more importantly, what Santa Maria Cumberland stands for for the island, not only for Malaysia, but for the entire island. You know, and, Mayor, and, uh, are you personally, Mayor, personally, what does Santa Maria and Gamlin mean to you? Yes, you know, Sabrina, I, when I started this program, a lot of people were asking me to go ahead and join it in that 4,000 uh, uh, contest. I'm not, I don't chase the limelight. I don't chase the spotlight, Sabrina. I just do, I'm a person who does what I'm going to do. If you see it, ask yourself, who put it there? If you hear it, who did it? You know, I mean, I'm not going to chase the limelight and, and compete because when you're competing, you're competing for, for the money rather than for the purpose, okay? 
and we're here to enhance our park. This is we. This is the first time we've done it, and to this extent, we've decorated it before. But I only wanted to do it because of the conditions that we're in, and 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 you know, a lot of people are, are looking forward to Christmas. I see a lot of people not putting up their lights. They, they may have lost the Christmas spirit. My staff and uh, volunteers were the ones that wanted to do the decorations and the lighting. So I said, okay, I'll provide all the lights and everything. I just need you guys to provide the creativity to enhance the park and show the Christmas spirit. So that's what we're doing. And for an individual to, you know, kind of upset or... Okay, Mayor. Yeah, I believe we're having some uh, technical uh, difficulties. Um, are you there? Yes, yes, yes. And, and like I said, Sabrina, you know, uh, if you can see the statue there that, that, that showed the, the lighting, we're announcing and putting up more lights. And, you know, I've invested a lot of money. I've asked my council to, uh, that I would like to, to spend as much. And I, I'm matching my council funds from my own funds to mm -hmm. buy whatever need to spruce up the place and make it look beautiful. Right. And for an individual to come and, and, I, and I, I'm just glad, I'm not saying that uh, he, he uh, targeted Santa Maria, but I'm glad that what he did was just something or sacrilegious, right? And and he didn't break the anything on Santa Maria's uh, statue and he did not break anything and destroy anything that we all worked hard for uh, to, to, to put up for this Christmas season. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I like to convey a message to if this person is listening, to please knock it off. You know what I mean? Don't spoil the Christmas spirit for everybody else. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. I'm at a loss of words. I normally have a lot of words to say, but I'm at a loss okay. of words. And, you know, it's very disheartening. And, and I don't want to compete. Right. Well, Mayor, we, we certainly thank you for uh, taking time to talk with us. Like you said, you're at a loss of words, can't believe it. Um, so I guess with anybody, if anybody has any information about what happened, who did this, do you want them to call your office? Yeah, the police officer was here. I, I reported it, Sabrina, just as a matter of record. In okay. the event somebody comes forward and may have witnessed something, you know, okay. I saw somebody, uh, the individual doing it. You know, that's the problem when uh, people turn a blind eye to, you know, the sign when you see something, say something about it. And uh, you know, some people are scared to get involved. That's why we have the law. You know, we have these people that, that go out doing mischievous deeds. I and mean, like I said, it's a, it's, it's a mischief. And I'm yeah. glad that it didn't go any worse than it was. But yeah. uh, this is the message I want to, convey to that person please do not spoil you know the, the christmas spirit for others you know I, right. enjoy yourself and uh, i don't wish anything upon him or her but please refrain from doing again you know uh, all right thank you mayor sabrina and um you know I, I, we're getting a lot of uh, feedback and a lot of people that are very much you know concerned about this matter and I hope that that person will be able to view all the concerns and find it in his mind and heart to refrain from doing another act of, of, of sacrilegious and, 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 you know, desecration. Right. So I hope he learns from this that uh, if there's anybody that we're proud of him, only himself or herself, or everybody else would, would be, uh, you know, targeting that person as somebody who's thoughtless and mindless and, and just not thinking right. So that's the message I convey is please do not spoil Christmas for everybody else. All right, um, thank you. You know, stop you know, desecrating Santa Maria. Or, you know, thank you, Sabrina. And I hope, like I said, I hope the individual is watching and he sees and desists on his actions and well, you know, this is going to slide, but if, if they continue, they, they're going to get caught. And if I'm, if I'm involved and it's in my business, believe me, like you said, I will be in the forefront advocating that they be given the full uh, punishment and, and fines okay. that the judge can impose upon them. All right. Thank you very much, Mayor.
Serena. Okay, Jason, thank you, bro. Okay. Merry Christmas, Mayor. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Um, again, that was uh, Mayor Ernest Charles of Rizzo, uh talking about what happened uh, to the Santa Maria and Camelon statue, as you saw in the pictures. Uh, last night, the, the mayor's office staff and volunteers uh, took several hours to decorate the park and uh, light it up with Christmas lights. And by morning, he got the phone call that somebody had uh, desecrated it uh, and put chains and they immediately uh, took it off. If you have any information, please call the mayor's office or you can call GPD at 472-8911. I'm Sabrina Salas-Mastinani. Thanks for watching.